What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part three of the Tree Ant series. In part one, we base coated him. In part two, we applied some mid-tones to his bark as well as a green wash and mid-tone highlight to his beard. And in this part, we're going to be finishing up him up with some max highlights as well as applying some little delineation on his bark such as on the mushrooms on his legs uh, the vines creeping up his uh, his legs as well and uh, we're going to finish up that beard as well as his base so we still have a lot of stuff to do but before we get started just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that i'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual, and now we are ready to finish up the tree ant. All right, so the first thing I'd like to do on the tree ant is I'm going to go over him with a dry brush of uh, bronze flesh tone. And this is kind of in the yellowish family. This is going to give it a nice max highlight here. Um, I'm going to be doing this on the primarily on the front of his on the front of his body. This, this is going to um, have the light the light source coming towards him. If you've been following me for a while, you'll probably recognize this color scheme from my Mimic series. If you haven't checked out the Mimic series, you can um, definitely go check that out. But this is essentially the same color scheme I used on the wooden portions um, of the Mimics. The bronze flesh tone is a great, um, great color to use uh, as a max highlight on wood. right there Kind of like the vines going up the um, the legs here. I think I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go with a um, heavy brown and a bone white mix. Making it look kind of, kind of woody, I guess, for lack of a better term. Up here with a little bit more of the bronze flesh tone. Tree ant green, so 
I say we'll go with that. Not looking for anything in your face, just a little bit of some subtle green undertones. Yeah, let's see. shift gears into these little mushrooms on his ankles. For this I'm going to be using a Warren Joker as a little base coat. Start the base with a little bit of Beastie Brown. All right, so here is the Beastie Brown on the base. Right here, this is one coat. I'm gonna go up on the beard now with a stone gray, pure stone gray. I'm gonna revisit the mushrooms. I promise that's the first time I've ever said that phrase. And I kind of like the way the base is looking as well. Um, I'm gonna, my plan is to cover most of the base with um, some grass and shrub effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with a little dry brush of, um, try heavy brown. Onto the mushrooms again. Edges of the mushrooms with a pale yellow. There we go. I think he's ready to get glued down on the stand. And then from there we can play around with um, what we're gonna put around them. All right, so now that I got them down, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a little glue down on the base, spread it a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle on some The moss, I also kind of want to add some shrubs. like a dollop of, uh, of glue just to add to the
but uh, the tree ant does come with a stone that it hurls. Um, actually, um, has a rock throwing ranged attack. Um, it actually deals a, a, a nice deal of damage. It's a 4d10 4D plus 6 bludgeoning damage, so this is a pretty happening rock here, so. Um, primed in black, I'm gonna just start it off with a dry brush of heavy gray. So there's a little dry brush of heavy gray. Give that a couple minutes to dry there, and then I'll go in with a dry brush of stonewall gray, and then I'll be ready to call him done for part three. Right, gonna get in here with some stonewall gray. A little bit of an overbrush, but that's okay. And that is the tree ant. Pretty happy with the way this guy came out. Fairly large model. Um, I have a for scale. I have a frost giant here that I've that I've done um, prior to starting the channel. I haven't I haven't done a frost giant yet, but a frost giant's coming. So a frost giant is roughly I want to say eighteen feet tall. Um, in, in that ballpark. Um, so obviously, as you can see, tree ant certainly has some size to him. And we have just completed him on the channel. And as always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.